guys my name is the Italian Jedi and today we are here to do part two of my 12 days of movie reviews for Christmas don't even know the title by heart well anyways you know I am really hoping that everybody has an awesome Christmas man like you know hope you get like tons of toys and stuff you know like like one of my all-time favorites etch and sketch and then you shake it and, and you start over again. It, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Or, you know, like little figures of like Lord of the Rings and stuff. Alien. Alcohol. Power to become a god. Or, you know, you might not even celebrate Christmas at all. But anyways, it's pretty cool to show you some movies that do have to do with winter and stuff and snow and... Yeah. So today we are here to review 2015's A Christmas Horror Story. Now there are two actors in this movie that I'm very familiar with and that is George Buzza and William Shatner. Uh, William Shatner of course being worldwide famous from being on the 1960's uh, Star Trek and, uh, and also being in other classic movies and TV shows. Uh, George Buzza I am familiar with him of being on the Adventures of Sinbad uh, that ran from the 90's to the late night I don't really know when it ended and when it started but I watched a couple episodes of it uh, he also played as Beast on the old 90s X-Men TV animated series and so you know that was pretty cool for him to be in this movie to let you know that this movie is an anthology movie and I am actually a huge fan of anthology films uh, like I've said before in some of my old reviews uh, Pulp Fiction you know uh, a lot of things from Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino has always been a very uh, special director and has made a lot of great anthology films that I love. But this movie is directed by... Uh, what's his name? Oh, it's actually three people. Uh, Stephen Hoban, Grant Harvey, and Brett Sullivan. Yeah, I should have suspected it being three people uh, for it being an anthology film. Uh, oh my god, this movie is so good. It is scary. It is bloody. There is a lot of violence in it. I love it. I love this movie. Uh, I really wish that they do more of these type of movies, like where it's anthology Christmas movies. I hope that they do like one every year and stuff. Like I'm really, really excited for the movies that are coming um, this month because... Man, uh, all the Christmas movies, I'm going to go see them for this month. And I'm really excited to see some stuff like this. Hopefully we do see stuff like um, like Steve Hoban, Grant Harvey, and Brett Sullivan gave us with this movie. And, you know, I really, really love the, the actors in here. Really, I don't really know a lot of them. I don't really know Bo Rob Archer. Zoe De Grand Mason, Adrian Holmes, Percy Hines White, uh, yeah, a bunch of these, I don't really know, um, a lot of these could be, like, first-timers and stuff, but, you know, I think that they all did a great job in here. There was actually a few jump scares in this movie that I really, that really got me, actually. Uh, one at the beginning, and one way halfway of the film, and then, like, one at the very end. So, I won't tell you where what they are and stuff, but the good thing about this movie is that there's also a twist at the end, but I'm not going to tell you it, but it is so good, you will never think of it. Um, yeah, other than this, this was an awesome experience of a Christmas uh, horror movie, uh, but yeah, 
other than that, guys, um, if you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that other stuff. Tell me what you thought about this review, and tell me what you thought about the a Christmas horror story in general. Um, keep up to date for my 12 holidays of movie reviews. Uh, and other than that, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.